And speaking of attitude, people in Berlin, Germany got quite the attitude adjustment on November 9, 1989. That's the day the Berlin Wall fell and the world suddenly opened up to people living under communism in East Germany. Well, despite its troubled past, some look back on the East Germany of the Cold War with nostalgia, a phenomenon known as a stalgy. But as VOA's Henry Ridgewell tells on assignments for Becca Ward, many older Germans have no fondness for the Berlin Wall and the repression it represented. In 1961, August 13th, 1961 is the day that the wall went up virtually overnight dividing the city, dividing families, people even crossing the wall using buildings to jump out, go in one entrance and jump out the other side into West Germany. That's what it was like initially. Burkhard Weigel, he's now 76, and he told me that it became his, his lifelong work really to, to try and give people their freedom. Uh, and he thought initially the best way to, to smuggle people through was via tunnels. <laughs> I asked every escapee if they were scared, and not a single one said they were frightened during the escape. They think, this has to work, and I will behave correctly. Weigel was an expert passport forger. And this was a refugee. He modified a Cadillac to hide a person inside the dashboard. Hundreds escaped to the West thanks to his ingenuity. And then he tells the story of the day that he found out that the wall had fallen and he came in and looked at the television screen and, and said he just burst into tears. You know, it, it's so interesting as you're telling this story and I'm thinking about uh, people who, um, you, you have a word in here, ostalgi? We would say nostalgia. Ostalgi, yes, that's right. Ostalgi, ost in German means east, so it's nostalgia really for, for, for East Germany particularly among the, the icons and, and the, the old sort of items that you used to be able to buy in the East. The Trabants, those old plastic cars that were made in East Germany, the old sweets, the washing powders, the, the childhood things that everyone might be uh, sort of nostalgic for. Among those who lived in East Germany, there is um, a theory that some of them are, are nostalgic for a perhaps a more straightforward, more predictable way of life, where you've sort of got a guaranteed job from the state, you know what your expenses are, you know what your, your job is going to earn, you know what you're going to do for your holidays. And when the wall came down, many East Germans felt that suddenly they were exposed to what they were told was a very sort of voracious capitalist system that, that could sort of eat them up and, and, and spit them out the other side. And of course, like any type of nostalgia, uh, there's an element of looking through rose-tinted glasses and, and nobody really in Germany wants to go back to that system. But uh, it's an interesting aspect as people look back 25 years on after the wall has fallen. The surviving infrastructure of the old regime provides a strong antidote to Ostalgi. This was known as the Palace of Tears, a checkpoint at Friedrichstrasse station. The wall divided families and friends overnight. The Berlin Wall Memorial is a powerful testimony to the conditions in the East that drove so many to try to escape. There was no political sort of freedom of speech, no freedom of travel and uh, no freedom of, uh, uh, for the press. For younger generations in unified Germany, Ostalgi is confined to museums and history books. For many of those who grew up in the East, childhood nostalgia is mixed with painful memories. I wanted to ask you, Henry, about your experience growing up in Europe. How did you experience seeing it from just a European view? I was only 10 years old when the, the wall came down, um, so just in, in my history lessons at school. Uh, and I do remember the history teacher coming in and, and telling us this was uh, the most important day of our lives so far in, in world history. You will remember this for the rest of your lives. Since then, it, it has become clear that, that this, this was a momentous day for, for Europe, of course, not just for Germany. To have a divided Europe, to have that iron curtain, as, uh, as it was famously called, that divided Europe in half, uh, really felt uh, as if there was a, a potential war on, on your doorstep. And since uh, the wall has come down, it's been discovered that there were Soviet nuclear missile bases just north of Berlin. So really a few hundred kilometers uh, from the capitals of, of Western Europe, London, Paris, and, and so on. So the world really was uh, geared up physically to a, an east-west confrontation in those days. And I think really that's 
what scares a lot of people about the current geopolitics of, of, of the tensions between East and West because they know, we know what can happen. Uh, and so when we talk about currently about uh, President Putin and, and the tensions between he, he and Western leaders, there is a history of that and, and that's why it is really quite so frightening. And again, our thanks to Henry Ridgewell reporting for VOA from Europe.